does the SOHCAHTOA acronym refer to? Well, S stands for sine, C stands for cosine, and the T here stands for tangent. Okay, so what the sine is, it's a ratio, and a ratio is where you're comparing two things as a fraction. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the sine of an angle, and what it equals, it's the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So this acronym helps you because it's gonna be the second letter divided by the third, so the opposite side over the hypotenuse. The cosine of an angle is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, so you can see A over H, and then the tangent of an angle equals the opposite side over the adjacent side, so you can see second over third over A. So these are called trigonometric ratios, and this is for right triangles, and I'll show you some examples here. So say we have this right triangle, ABC, and we want to find the sine of angle A. So what that means is it's the opposite side over hypotenuse, see over H, and so if we're standing here, so we kind of have this perspective, like you're at this vertex, this angle here, the opposite side, you go across diagonally. So that's gonna be five, okay? The hypotenuse is the side that's across from the right angle, okay, so that's 13. So the sine of angle A, the ratio of the two sides, the opposite and the hypotenuse, is 5 thirteenths. Okay, now if we wanna find the cosine of angle A, you can see we're gonna do the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Okay, now adjacent means next to, okay, so if you're here, adjacent means next to, that's this side and this side. If we wanna use the 12, not the 13. The 13 is the hypotenuse, it's across from the right angle, that's the longest side. So when they say adjacent, don't pick the hypotenuse, pick the other one, okay, so that's gonna be 12, divided by the hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's gonna be 13. Okay, now the tangent of angle A, we're still at this angle, tangent is opposite over adjacent, Okay, so if you're here, opposite is across, adjacent is next to, so that's gonna be 5 twelfths. Okay, so far so good. Okay, now let's go over here to this angle, okay, angle B. So we're changing our perspective, we're, we're at this vertex. So the sine of angle B is opposite, okay, so we're going across, so opposite, which is 12, over the hypotenuse, which is 13. Okay, the cosine of angle B is adjacent, so you can see here adjacent is next to five over the hypotenuse 13, five thirteenths. And the tangent of angle B is the opposite side over the adjacent side. Okay, so that's gonna be 12 over five. Okay, so this is how you find the sine, cosine, and tangent in a right triangle. We only use the two acute angles, we don't use the right angle, so there's no sine of angle C, okay, or cosine or tangent. Okay, just the two acute angles, not the right angle. Okay, so let, let me show you how you use these trig ratios in solving problems. So over here, we have a right triangle. You can see the 40 degree angle, and we wanna solve for this missing side here, x. So what we have to ask ourselves is, what trig function ties together this angle, this side, and this side? Okay, well let's see, if you're at this angle, this is the opposite side, and this is the adjacent side to this angle. So we go to our acronym, SOCA-TOA, and you can see opposite and adjacent, that's the tangent ratio, so that's what we're gonna use. So we've got the tangent of 40 degrees equals the opposite over adjacent, five divided by x. Now you can cross multiply, okay? Anything divided by one is itself, so you can cross multiply, and you get x times the tangent of 40 equals five times one, which is five, then all you have to do is divide by the tangent of 40, okay, on both sides. And this is an exact answer. You can do that on your calculator and you're gonna get the length of this side. Now one quick hint, something that helps is that you can switch these on the diagonal, okay, when you have a proportion like this, a ratio equal to ratio, you can actually switch these. So I could have saved myself a little bit of time by putting x here and tangent of 40 here and I would have had it in one step. Okay, let's go to the next one. So here you can see another right triangle. We've got 35 degrees, and we wanna figure out what trig function ties together the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. See, it's across from the right angle, that's the hypotenuse adjacent is next to. So that looks like cosine ties together adjacent and hypotenuse. So we've got the cosine 
of 35 degrees equals, it's always going to be the second letter over the third letter in that acronym, so x over 8. And then what you can do is you can cross multiply, x times 1 is x, 8 times cosine of 35, and now you're ready to put that in your calculator and get the length of this missing side. Okay, last example I'll show you here is uh, now we've got this angle 50 degrees. We're trying to tie together the opposite side, see across, and the hypotenuse across from the right angle. So that's going to be, let's see, opposite and hypotenuse. You can see that's going to be sine, S-O-H, so, right? So sine of 50 degrees equals 4 divided by y. I'm going to use that little technique I was showing you earlier about switching these on the diagonal. Okay, so y over 1 equals 4 divided by the sine of 50 degrees. And this is an exact answer. It's ready to be put in your calculator, and you can get a decimal approximation for the missing side. So this is how you work with right triangle uh, trig ratios. And uh, if you enjoy these videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.